Hey, welcome back to the Academic Society. Today we're talking about interviews. So I was on Twitter and someone asked about like, how do you prepare for an on-campus interview or any interview when you're applying for a job in academia? And so I have some tips for you because I was able to go on, I think, four on-campus interviews and they all went really, really well. So I wanna share my tips for you. So if you're interested in those, keep watching this video. So I'm Toy and the founder of the Academic Society. I got my PhD in math and I create these videos for grad students as well as academics. So let's go ahead and get started. So like I mentioned, I'm sharing tips for on-campus interviews or even Skype or phone interviews when you're applying for a job in academia. And so for those of you who are in the process for applying for a job in academia, I have a free mini course. It's called the Job App Crash Course that shares a little bit about my experience applying for jobs and how I created documents documents like my teaching statement, cover letter, CV, and things like that. And so it's free, so I'll put a link for it in the description of this video. All right, let's get into the tips. Number one, prep questions. So literally all day when you're on an on-campus interview, after every meeting, they will ask you, so do you have any questions for me? And if you're like me and you're very introverted, you probably don't have any questions off the top of your head, especially when someone just asks you, do you have any questions? So my advice is to prepare questions that you want to ask the people in advance. And if you run out of questions, you're gonna be meeting new people all day long. Just ask them the same questions. It may be very telling if people have very different answers to the same questions you're asking them. So that's my little tip. Number two, kind of related to that, is to envision yourself living in that new city and working at that university. And so think about what life would be like if you actually took that job. And that can inform what kind of questions you want to know. So you want to know about the community, you want to know about the work environment, you want to know about the course load, the research, how um, the climate of the department, things like that. So actually envision yourself being there and then come up with questions from that space. All right, so number three, be yourself. So you really want it to be a good fit both ways. You wanna fit in with the people in that department and the people in the department should be um, good fits with you. So let your personality shine through. You don't wanna be, you know, over the top or whatever, but it's definitely okay to be yourself. And I think I've had the best conversations when I was on interviews, when I was being completely myself, being smiley, being bubbly, and not feeling like a robot, trying to answer questions perfectly, just being me. Me and my friend always joke, like, academics are really smart and like, use big words and stuff. And maybe because we're mathematicians, I don't know, my vocabulary just isn't the biggest. And when I was on interviews, <laughs> the amount of times that I said things like, that's so awesome. That's really great. That's cool. Awesome. Like, it sounds like I don't have a huge vocabulary and it sounds like I'm not that smart, but I am. I got my PhD in math and you got your PhD or getting your PhD in whatever field. Everyone knows you're smart. So you don't have to prove to them that you're smart. You just have to be yourself. All right. I think that's what I was trying to get. At. <laughs> All right. Number four, if you have a teaching demo, so if you're applying for a job at a liberal arts school or a job with a high teaching focus, it's very likely that you'll have to do a teaching demo where you'll teach a section or a lecture for actual students or just a search committee, which can be really awkward because you know they know the answers to all of your questions. And sometimes they may try to trip you up, make you say the wrong thing. So it's good to remain calm and collected. But when you're doing your teaching demo, I think it's really cool if you're able to do something that you talked about in your teaching statement. So if you mention some type of pedagogy or activity in your teaching statement, you should do that in your interview and show that you actually do the things that you talked about in your application. All right, number five, this is research-based. So if you know that there are people in the department that you are going to um, who, in, whose research you're interested in and you may want to collaborate with them, you should 100% meet with those people. Meet with those people, talk about collaborations, how you can work together, how your research may align with theirs. And this doesn't even have to be with people in your department. These can be people outside of the department. So when I was applying for jobs at liberal arts schools, I often got to meet people from different departments in different schools and 
they all wanted to talk to me about my research and how we could collaborate. And I thought that was really cool, like interdisciplinary um, research collaboration. So that really shows like if you have ideas of, for working with other people, it shows that you really want to be there. Number six is to pack snacks. So it's going to be a long day and yes, you will get meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but these meals will not be solo. These meals will be part of your interview. You'll be going with people from the search committee, other people from the department, and they're going to be asking you questions and they're going to want you to ask them questions. So you may not be eating a lot and you may also be nervous so you may not be as hungry. So, but however, you will probably be sitting in a room by yourself at some point where you're preparing for your research talk, preparing for your teaching demo. You're going to want to have those snacks there. Number seven tip, um, have a long, have alone time before you go for your interview. So as I mentioned, I'm an introvert. Um, talking with a lot of people all day completely drains me. And so before an interview, I like to have a complete me day, spend time by myself, just like being with me, um, energizing myself so that I can go out there and like be on and like talk to people for a full day or day and a half straight. It's a lot and it's very draining. So maybe after the interview, also schedule some time just for yourself to decompress. All right, um, next number eight, it's okay to smile and laugh. If someone makes a joke and you think it's funny, it's okay to laugh. It's okay to smile and be welcoming, especially if that's your personality. You don't want to hide who you are. Um, I hesitate to say make jokes because some jokes you make may be offensive to people in the room. You never want to be offensive on an interview. But if there is something that's said that is funny to you and it doesn't seem offensive, it's okay to laugh. It's okay to smile. It's okay to be yourself. Number nine, Ask about any concerns you may have about the community or the environment. So I don't recommend being negative. So maybe if there was a scandal in the department, I probably wouldn't necessarily mention the scandal, but maybe kind of reframe it into what are they doing now? So you can ask, what efforts are you making towards inclusivity and diversity in the department? What are you doing to make sure that your graduate students are being heard? How can I be a part of that change and um, making the department a better, safer, more inclusive place. And then finally, number 10, wear comfortable shoes. You're gonna be walking across a college campus all day long. You don't want to be stumbling. You don't want your feet to be hurting. You don't wanna be walking weird because your feet hurt. Wear comfortable shoes. Um, Luckily, most job interviews happen in the fall and spring, so it's pretty cool outside. So I was able to wear booties, and booties are very comfortable to me. So what I would wear is like a nice dress, a blazer, tights, and booties. And that helped me look really professional, and it was also really, really comfortable. And I was able to walk around all day, stand to give my presentations, and all of the things. I actually wore the same interview outfit for all four interviews that I went on. Because <laughs> they didn't know. None of them saw me at the previous interview. Also, I knew that outfit looked good, it worked, it was comfortable, so I just wore it every single time. So you just need one. Unless it's a two-day interview or a day and a half interview, then you need two. Um, so yeah, those are my tips. I'd love to know if you have any other tips for um, nailing and preparing your interview for an on-campus interview for an academic job. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.